Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at recurring decimals and we're going to be following a very similar method to the rest of the videos within the playlist. So if you're not sure about any of this, please do have a look at some of the other videos and that will give you a better idea. So what we're being asked is to show that 0 0.351 recurring is the same as 13 over 37 as a fraction. Okay, well 0 0.351 recurring, what we normally do is we'll say something like let n equal 0 0.351, 351, 351 and so on. Okay and the method is is that we look at that and we try to find a way of multiplying this value of n to get rid of all of the recurring numbers as far as we possibly can. Okay now normally we can either multiply n by 10 or 100 or a thousand, they tend to be the main ones. Now in this particular case, if we multiply by 10, it means that we're going to not be in a position to get rid of the recurring numbers. Same again with a hundred, but this time we're gonna multiply by a thousand. Okay, now if you're not sure about all of those, have a go. Try multiplying this by 10 and seeing if you can find a way to get rid of the recurring. Um, and they, then again by 100. So with 1,000n, we end up with 351.351351 and so on. And that means then that if we take away this value of n, we're in a position where we can get rid of all of the recurring numbers. And that's this 351 element of it. So again, please do have a look at the other videos if you're not sure. So if I take one away from the other, I get 1000n take away n. Well, that's going to be 999n, and that's going to equal 351. Now, if I divide both sides through by 999, I get n equals 351 over 999, which is actually the correct answer. The only difficulty is we need to prove that that fraction is exactly the same as this fraction. And this is where this type of question becomes more about your ability to look at equivalent fractions than it is about the method itself. The method is relatively straightforward, providing you appreciate that we're trying to get rid of all these recurring numbers afterwards. OK, so what I've got here is uh, two numbers. Now, if you look at those numbers, the one at the bottom lends itself to being divided by 3 because if I divide that by 3 it's going to be 333 well that's okay I've just got to look at the top number and see if I can and one of the tricks of these is if the individual digits add up to a multiple of 3 then it means you can divide so if I have 3 plus 5 is 8 plus one is nine. Well, nine is a multiple of three, so actually I can be fairly confident that if I divide the top number by three, what I end up with is one, one, seven, which is great as a whole number. So therefore, I can write this as one, one, seven divided by 333. And then the whole process starts again. So you'll notice that 1, 1 and 7 also add up to 9. Therefore, it's a fairly safe bet that I can divide that through by 3 and I end up with 39. So that's going to be 39 over 1, 1, 1. So I'm dividing the top and bottom by 3 each time. And then the final part of this is if I look at 39, well, again, 39 is divisible by 3 when that actually becomes 13 because 13 times 3 is 39. And 1, 1, 1, if I divide that by 3, I'll just do this over here. 1, 1, 1, what I end up with is 37. So this bottom is 37, which means then that the fraction 351 over 999 is 13 over 37. Now, I know that some of these questions end up on calculator papers, and you could do that very, very easily on the calculator. However, increasingly, a lot more of these type of questions are ending up on non-calculators. So please be aware of this ability, or have a go at making sure you You've got this skill and this ability of reducing fractions down to their lowest 
possible value and cancelling down. So with these type of questions, the actual part of it, the proofing part of it is relatively straightforward. It's this bit that's going to give you the problem. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. Please do add a comment below. If you're not sure about anything, I'll always come back to you. Uh, please do have a look at the other videos within the playlist. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.